you mentioned, you know, the difference between a cheap event and highly paid events. Let's dive into that a little bit. Like there's a lot of free events, usually virtual ones more so than in-person ones. But then even in person, you've got maybe ones with $100 tickets and ones with $10,000 tickets. So let's kind of walk through that. And is it worth yeah. going to expensive ones or you just go to the cheap ones? Kind of dive into that. So the cheap uh, events are usually, there are also like, let's say, a meetups. There are different types of events. There are meetups, which is maybe doesn't have a proper structure. It's a very short event of two, three hours in the evening. And you meet like maybe between 10 and 50 people. There are maybe more organized events where it's three, four hours with two, three or four speakers. Uh, usually some service provider is organizing it and uh, they inviting and maybe giving snacks. Everything is for free. In the cheap or free events, you will, of course, find more beginners and they're suitable more for those who don't have budget to spend to invest in trips and buy tickets for more exclusive events. Mm -hmm. In this kind, of, this kind of events is perfect for people who are starting out. But in these type of events, I also saw serious Amazon sellers coming because I also noticed that the more successful the seller is, the more attentive they are going and listening to every presentation, every webinar, every event they go, because they know there is a chance they will learn something new either from the presentation of the, from the person they will meet. And uh, from my experience, I myself, I lived uh, some years ago in Spain and I was organizing Amazon seller meetups because it was not a major city. I, I got like just six, eight people attending this event every two months. But every uh, event, this meetup I organized was so useful for my business in one meetup. I got a guy from Spain who is sell his Amazon seller, but also selling a merchandise. He prints, you know, logos on different things. So we started ordering from him merch, merch or things for our conferences. So we always ship from Spain to our conferences, to Prague, to Lithuania, to P Portugal. Next event I did, I found a lady which later started to work with us and uh, recorded she's still recording videos with us uh, Lisette from Estonia she's working with with us like for four years and I met her in my event meetup which I organized with six people so you can always find something in uh, low cost events and uh, more ever more costly events will bring you just more quality network I would say because if it's a conference which costs like five hundred dollars one thousand dollars you should expect people you know, who are running business for some time and they can invest in this and they are coming to with expectance to get some return of investment. Mm -hmm. So they are also eager to talk to other people, to listen to the presentations. And uh, this is, of course, this type of events are more suitable for people who are, well, who can, who have budgets to come. And I saw even beginners have such budgets. And uh, in my events, I even had beginner ladies which are buying VIP tickets. And during the VIP day, which is before the main conference, they got all the answers, all the questions answered. And they said, oh, wow, it's just like VIP day was enough for us. So yeah, you never know what you can get 